All right, this is Captain Razzy. Um, recording a few games for my friend Sebastian since I can't play games with him anymore because we don't live in the same place. Uh, I said I was going to do a horror game next, but I could not resist. I've been dying to play this game. It's reply to Prince of Nigeria. So we're going to start a new game. I'm sure all you know what this is. You know, the Nigerian Prince scam where he goes, ah, oh, we have about $20 million, I gotta put it in your bank account, the transfer it or something. I just need $500 for the fee and then I'll give you some of it. And I can't believe that people fall for that, but they do. This game is only for those aged zero and above, for it contains instances of deliberately horrible grammar and spelling, as well as catwalk spam. Sounds like I'm going on Tumblr. Just for you. What do you think my name is? Ah, that nostalgia that comes with the login screen. This is one memory which I will never forget. A memory from years ago on a cold winter night. When I was having a cup of coffee with my ex-boyfriend Zach. Oh. This is Zach. Oh my god. Is that, is that her computer? <laughs> He's been my best friend for a long time now. He was a decent young fellow. Still is, except maybe not that young. What the fuck? Sadly, our relationship just couldn't work out. But I'm glad we're still able to remain best friends, even after a whole ordeal with my mom. What the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> Get a life! And so that day, I booted Zack up and decided to check my email. That was when I met... <gasps> him. I opened my HTML account, and to my pleasant surprise, I saw one new message in my inbox. God, this is like Tumblr. Tumblr. Written on the top left-hand corner. I clicked on it to see a strangely tattered email appear in my inbox. Look at this. It's just scratched out Y mail. Well, this looks pretty important. I think we should look at it. Prince of Nigeria at zmail.com seems pretty legitimate. To Sebastian at hmail.com. Somebody needs an urgent response from me. I was instantly frantic. I decided to proceed with my read. Just let me get to it. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, let me get my guy voice on. <coughs> Dear friend, Happy New Year. I know that this message will come to you as a surprise. God damn it. I'm the next heir to the throne of Nigeria, the crown prince. Oh god, okay. Uh, uh, para catching po poke gone. I hope that you will not expose or betray this trust in confident that I am about to response on you for the mul for the mutual benefit of our families. Maybe I should yell this because it's in all caps. I need your urgent assistance in a transferring the sum of USD twenty million to your account within ten to fourteen banking days. This money has been dormant for years in our bank without claim. I want the bank to release the money to you as my father, the king of Nigeria, had recently died. <laughs> died. -ed. And my greedy siblings are trying to get them money for themselves. <laughs> Alright, as a writer, this is killing me to read this. Mm. I don't want the money to get taken by my greedy siblings. I am sorry to involve you in such serious politics. But I am desperate. I am willing to send the money to your bank account upon which you can have 40% of the money. So this is the reason why I contacted you. Please, I would like you to keep this proposal as a top secret and delete it if you are not interested. Upon receipt 
of your reply, I will give you full details on how business will be executed and also note that you will have 40% of the above mentioned sum if you agree to handle this business with me. <laughs> and 10% will be set aside for any expenses that warrant on the processes before the fund get into your bank account such as telephone calls, bills, etc. Best regard. Prince Ak- Akachim Pokemon. <gasps> Just one email and I was utterly captivated. My first emotion was sheer intrigue as half a billion and five <laughs> questions ran through my mind like a truck into an abandoned scooter. Who is this person? Why is his story so touchingly sad? Why is he emailing me out of all people? Most importantly, absolutely brilliant, breathlessly amazing person types in ALL CAPS! I absolutely must find out. My mind was not on the money at all. I am not that kind of girl after all. I was indeed way more curious at the identity of this prince, this man, this enigma. My heart began thumping furiously in my chest like an apple core in a moving garbage truck. <laughs> Someone's been taking some writing classes. I've always had a thing for mysterious men with sob stories. Sob backstories. I decided to respond to his email immediately. With trembling fingers, I began typing up my response after clicking on the easily missable compose button. Alright, so this is the email that we sent back. Your Majesty, it is truly an honor to be speaking with you. I recently received your email and I'm greatly touched and intrigued by your most resplendent usage of capital letters. I feel myself highly enchanted by your words. Please do not misunderstand. I am not responding to you with this email because I desire your money. Would you mind so terribly if I wanted to get to know you better? Sincerely awaiting your response. Sebastian. With sweaty palms and, tremen and <laughs> a tremulous index finger, I pressed on the send button. You, like, you see this down here? This <laughs> these ads is reply Prince of Nigeria, a touchingly broken story of a teenager who falls for an internet scam bot. I nearly missed and clicked on the side advertisement for what I believe to be gay porn or some website filled with sushi recipes instead. I breathed a sigh of relief. <sighs> it wouldn't it would have been hell for me if I'd accidentally redirected the page and lost my hard crafted email immediately. Dear Sebastian, yes I am indeed the Prince of Nigeria. Indeed. <laughs> yes, I am indeed the Prince of Nigeria. Thank you for responding. I suppose you accept my terms and conditions for the 20 million to be sent to you? Please reply to me. Please reply me to this email. Best regard. Prince Apara Kachin po Pope Gorn. Hmm. <laughs> My eyes watered with happiness when I saw the please reply me. He seemed like a sincere man. For him to have such a lack of understanding, oh, she's crying, of proper grammar and spelling, but still try so hard. I wiped my tears away, my chest filling with emotions. Hard-working guys are my type. Saw backstories are a plus, and I felt myself slowly start falling for this miraculous prince. Dear Prince Apara, think of me what you will, but I can't help but feel that you are a sweet and sincere young man and I can feel myself opening up to you. Would you like to talk more or would you leave? I would like to get to know you better, but to you it appears that you would disappear the moment I fulfill your wish. Would you be so cold hearted or would you stay with me? Prince Apara, I may not have ever met you, but please be assured that my feelings are genuine. Regards. Sebastian. I slumped back on my swivel chair, dreaming of his response. Did I manage to touch his heart? He must have been online, for he responded almost instantly. Dear Sebastian, 
Yes, I'm very sincere, man. I will definitely fulfill my part of bargain. You just have to give me more information. Please, please, Sebastian. We have not much time. That you for responding, do you accept? I just need to know things. <laughs> Best regard, Prince Apara. Catching popcorn. Got it. My eyes watered. Every time Prince Apara responded, it felt as if a... What in the hell is this? A Fran Dresser pie had bloomed in my stomach. Every time he typed my name, I could feel myself melting like an iron bar in an iron casting factory. <laughs> my, my, my sweat felt hot like it was on a hot summer sidewalk. My heart leapt into the air at the speed of an apple core thrown from a tall building. What the f- She eats a lot of apples. That was the extent of my feelings right now. I quickly rubbed the tears from my eyes and pursed my lips. I have decided. I would tell him how I felt. Hastily I began composing my response. Call me brash, impulsive. Dear Prince Apara, I am brash, impulsive. Call me brash, impulsive. <laughs> but I know that my feelings for you right now are true. When you sent me that first email, my love for you felt like a giant fuchsia hibiscus blew me in the spring breeze. That time I thought, how come this prince didn't have the beautiful halo and wings an angel should have? I guess you must have left them in your mother's stomach. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's... okay. Anyway. Before, I never had the courage to tell you. But now, it is different, prince. Do you believe in fate? We've been talking for like two minutes. Because you sure are entangled in mine now. These are merely a few lines, but it was so hard to write out. Please, Prince Apara, tell me, do you feel the same for me? Achingly in love. Sebastian. After sending that mail, I broke out in a cold sweat. Every second in front of Zack was an eternity. God damn it. I wish she wouldn't do that. Prince Apar was probably looking at the email right now. His brilliant black eyes must be surveying my words, and his delicate mouth whispering each word to himself. What would he do? Would he think me strange? Would he think me selfish? Would he think me a pirate? After all, I did not even mention about the money. Would he just abandon me then? Selfishly, I began to dream. Will he feel the same for me, across the blank count countenance of his computer screen? If I said yes to his request to send me that twenty million dollars, would he listen to mine? Ah, being in love truly hurt. I couldn't help but feel a sinking feeling in my heart when I noticed that even now, after my heartfelt email from earlier, nothing was on his mind but his insistence on giving me the money. Even if he said he felt the same way, how can I believe him? What if all he ever wanted to accomplish was pass me that money and nothing else? <laughs> Bitch, if someone wanted to do that, like, legitimately, I'd be like, Alright, whatever. Could I trust him? As the thoughts zoomed through my mind like a paper aeroplane through a classroom, <laughs> his response came. Alright. <laughs> oh my god. This is so funny. Okay. Dear Brash Impulsive, When you have the money, USD 20 million, you can buy all the fuchsia hibiscus blooming you want. Just think about it. Yes, I am indeed, I am indeed real prince. If you uh, do not believe me, attach this document with my identity card. Oh, we get to see him. <laughs> <laughs> my mother is dead. <laughs> Brash, impulsive. Tell me if you want to agree to the deal so we can proceed to the next step. I guarantee that I am 100% trustworthy. <laughs> Please reply. Prince Apara, catching popcorn. I felt butterflies in my stomach and my face burned when I saw that he did pay attention to my mention of the fuchsia hibiscus. I was sad, however, to hear that his mother had died. Attached was indeed... 
Prince of Nigeria ID.jpg, which I presume must be a scanned copy of his identity card. <laughs> Good people. Great nation. Oh! <laughs> Look at her face. Body type. Buff! Apara. Kitchen popcorn. Prince. 18 and single. That's his age. Job. Prince of Nigeria. Occupation. <laughs> Crown Prince of Nigeria, nationality e, Nigerian, address 7 whatever street in, J in Japan Nigeria police the fucking communism symbol look at this barcode it's all in comic sans I expected him to have bronze skin dark hair and dark pools for eyes but his true visage looked even better than I'd hoped for I was utterly mesmerized to think that he was part of the Nigerian Football Federation. That must be what's behind her. That was certainly unexpected. <laughs> Hold on. Do you see this? Do you see this? <laughs> I've always admired Comrade Stalin and Chairman Mao and their ideals. Girl. Oh, whoopsies. I clicked off. Uh, to think they felt the same. We truly are tied by the red string of communism. Tears of joy rolled down my cheeks. Nigeria is truly a good people, good nation, just like the logo said. However, I must not be tricked. I must tell them how desperate the strong bonds of love between us. We must find a way to make this relationship work. Otherwise, we would regret it forever. Determined, I wiped my tear-stained hands on my skirt and started typing again. We have to talk. Dear Prince Apar, While this money you offer me certainly is gracious, I cannot help but feel as if this is going to be the only bias of our relationship. Basis. Basis. Do you truly want our newly discovered feelings for each other to resolve around money? I sure do not think so. Please, Apara, let us abandon all these thoughts of meager cash and instead continue to dream of the fruits of our deepest, darkest emotions. Yours truly and utterly, Sebastian. I clicked the send button, awaiting patiently for a response from Prince... <laughs> Sebastian. Dearest friend, we have no time. The money needs to go to you extremely soon. There's 20 million dollars for your bank account. All you have to do is send me your bank account number, name, credit card number, and social security number, etc. Thanks. Please reply me to this email. Best regard. Prince Apara Kachin Popcorn. My heart sank when I started his latest email. I fall deeply, irreversibly in love with him. Why must he treat me this way? Our relationship should not revolve around money. Even then, I've fallen too deep. I can no longer return. I would do anything for him. So should I, or should I not fulfill his wish? <gasps> oh, we get to make a choice. I think, I think we should give it to him. Such kind-hearted, tasteful man. How could I say no to his wishes? I could do anything for him. And if he needed my bank details to further our relationship, I would be glad to do it. I think that that's what she would do. She's pretty fucking stupid. And so I keyed in my name, credit card number, my social security number, everything he needed. I would test him. If he still stayed with me after giving me the money, it would mean he truly loved me. But I feared that if he left simply after I fulfilled his own wish without thinking about mine, then what would I do? In the end, I decided that I would trust him. I swallowed heavily. Oh. My mind was blank with confusion over my overwhelming emotions. In the end, with trembling fingers, I clicked on the send button. Days passed. Months passed. Weeks passed. I finally stopped sobbing a few days ago. After that last email I sent him with my personal details, he stopped contacting me entirely. I know what must have happened to him. After all, he was the Prince of Nigeria, and he has plenty of enemies. Certainly, he must have tragically perished in a political assassination. 
I've tried my utmost best to dig up newspapers, but found nothing. The media sure was good at hushing things up. I will never forget him. We are like Romeo and Juliet, lovers torn by fate, but I will never forget him. I prayed every day to see him again. And then God granted my wish. What? Prince Apara finally talked to me again through those simple numbers I've given him months ago. Every day I would check my bank account online and watch the balance lovingly. Prince Apara must have left this world, but he will never leave my heart. Every time I see $5,000 extracted from my bank account, somewhere in my heart I'll always dream that it is him. Good ending. <laughs> Alright, um, at the end of this video I'm going to attach the other ending. I'll go back and I'll do that so that you can see that other ending. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I loved it. So I'm going to click through these pretty quickly. Um, this is another one of those free games, by the way, that you can look this up and download. Oh, and there's a bonus section. So I'm going to go through all that in, uh, after this. See you later. All right, so here we are. This is the other ending, apparently. So we're not going to send him our stuff. We're going to be smart this time. No. I would not give in, I thought briskly. This must be his tried and tested method of testing my competence to mend our relationship. I would not fail his test of roses and broken dreams. I am a little hesitant. Our relationship, as passionate and romantic as it may be with our deep and fruitful email exchanges, is starting to feel a little predatory. I cannot help but realize that you seem more interested in disposing of that cash than my existence. I, didn't, I do notice that it is of great importance to you, but I would very much appreciate it if you could try and understand my feelings. My fair maiden's heart is getting torn by your in insinuations. Your current behavior is like a hammer breaking at my heart. It will never mend. Heartfully yours, Sebastian. He must have been online for he responded almost instantly. Dear Sebastian, oh, I'm glad to be your friend and I hope we can have a wonderful relationship of great together. But first I need your help. I hear you say you want cash, so here I am to help you. I have a good heart, so I give you cash, Sebastian. I'm 100% trustworth, and worry not. This $20 million for your bank account. All you have to do is send me your bank account number. Thanks a bunch a lot. <laughs> Replay me with this email. <laughs> Best regard. Prince Apara, catch him popcorn. Again, a similar message with the same caps lock. My heart, with its four chambers and aorta, sank even deeper into my stomach pits. Was it already in your stomach pits? Even though his curious misspellings and questionable text had always been part of his charm, he, he has become increasingly difficult to understand. He was no longer the Apara I knew. What should I do now? Alright, so... No, we're not going to do it, because we gave him the numbers, and I think that I'll do the same ending. So we're just not going to do it. I would not give in. I'd fight to keep our relationship intact. But first, I must make him experience guilt for his insensitive actions. Dear Apara, my darling, do you remember the day we first met at the lake? We met eyes, and you blushed a little. I thought you were cute. What the fuck is this? They never met. Since then, we've gotten closer. Do you remember that day when we went to the beach together? What the fuck is she talking about? Even building sandcastles then, which I found extremely childish, became something I loved. Yet those days are crumbling away, and so is our relationship, and I want to mend it. Have you ever watched Twilight? Oh, Jesus. I am starting to feel as if our relationship mirrors that of Edward and Bella in that show. In that show? Edward forced Bella to take all his money, and Bella felt pressured. That's what I'm feeling like. Though I've never watched the show, I just presumed it. Crazily in love, Sebastian. I waited for half a minute and his response came. Dear Brash Impulsive, in Nigeria we watch different shows Lick Dictator by Kim Jong Il. I have no time to talk about that now. Do you want $20 million for your bank account? All you have to do is send me everything. 
Thanks for being good friend to me, Brash Impulsive. Please reply me to this email. Prince of Para, catch him popcorn. My stomach began to churn and tears started filling my eyes. Of all his emails, 75% was more focused on the money than me. How could he be so insensitive, even after all those heartfelt messages we had been sneaking lovingly to each other? I was utterly indignant. Yet. <sighs> Just give that dude the darn numbers already, seriously. No, 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 over my dead body. That's, that's how we're playing this one. I pursed my lips and began typing again. This is unhealthy, I told myself between tears. I had to tell him how I felt about this. <laughs> Dear Apara, my sweet cucumber, despite your insistence, I cannot do this. I cannot help but feel that this relationship is unequal. Therefore, I want to ask you if you want to end this one night stand before it is too late. I truly love you, Prince, but I cannot sense that you feel the same about me. Please tell me this isn't true. Painfully yours, heartbroken, brash, and impulsive, Sebastian. An email took me an hour to compose before I clicked send. His response arrived 15 seconds later. Dear heartbroken, brash, impulsive. Sebastian. <laughs> Glad to be your friend. No problem. You can do anything you want. Happy to have you as a friend. Thanks. Wish you would be happy in your life. Best regard. Prince of Power catching popcorn. My finger slackened. Horrified, my mouth was ajar. Would this be how our relationship ends? In silence and painful goodbyes? What? Was this what I've been fighting so hard for? I began to tremble. Oh, good love, how could it hurt a maiden like I so? I began to weep and wail. The blow mentioned was my later conversation with my insensitive mother. <laughs> No, oh, woe, sorrow. Dear. What? <laughs> My boyfriend dumped me. All right, well, it's time for dinner, so you better come down. Well, anyway, as I was saying, Apar's callousness had broken my heart. It would never mend again. I would never again love another man. If only it were so easy to say goodbye. Apar had forgotten all those times we spent together. And just like that, we were separated. I wonder, had I ever meant anything to him? Bad ending. Still, I wish him best of luck. I hope that he's found fulfillment elsewhere, exchanging emails with a more understanding girl. Or gotten himself flat another steamroller. That's good, too. <laughs> Alright, so that's it. And I think I'm going to check out the bonus section right after this. Oh, wow, look at this. Image gallery. Oh, we have two that we haven't unlocked, so I wonder what that is. There's probably some other endings. Oh, they got some fan art. Here's the epilogue. Whoops. Who's McRooney? What are we doing? <laughs> oh! This is someone wrote. Whatever. Your articles are getting just more and more ridiculous. Right. Ms. Owen? I appreciate the compliment, Mr. Macaroni. <laughs> McRooney? <laughs> Normally I would yell at you for not writing me the article I wanted, but since this one's entertaining, I'll let this slide. You got that cute little short skirt on, too. I guess I brought earplugs for nothing, then. Anyhow, you must be wondering what I called you here for. I get a pay raise? Nope, even better. Oh goody, I hope it's cookies. You got fan mail. Oh. They all like you, you see, isn't that great? Yeah, I guess. I like me too. Anyway, I won't bother you now. Here's your paycheck. You could have just mailed it to me instead of calling me here. Young people nowadays sure have no respect for their elders. I guess this guy's older. This coming from the boss of Macked? That's something new. Macked macaroni? 
Hey, nobody said everyone here had to be liberal, wear stiff ties, and crack stupid jokes everywhere I go. Are you saying my tie looks stiff? That's not the only thing. I see you're not com commenting on me implying that the jokes you crack are stupid. Oh, puddings! Anyway, thanks for the money, good old sir. I'll be off now. Old? You should at least call me middle-aged. <laughs> After bidding the good-mannered man a hasty goodbye, she steps out of that stuffy office into an equally hot but less stuffy outdoors. Indeed, leaning against the wall opposite was Aldrich Rich Hastily, part-time student counselor and full-time internet troll. What is he doing here? Oh, you're Horai from the writing club, aren't you? What a coincidence, do you remember me? There's too many guys in this, I can't do the voices. Holy bananas! If it isn't His Majesty! Oh, I forgot what voice said it. Oh, I'm royalty now, that's a nice change. And of course I remember you. You're Aldrich Hastley from Class 306. You are a highly altruistic individual who buys all the Girl Scouts brownies and gives them out to other people. Oh, that's too nice of you. And you're a frequent reader of Mac. You drink your coffee way too fast and you troll the internet for a living. Uh, wow, stalker much? Nice change in attitude there now. Maybe I should press charges on you. You're breaking as many laws in a fortnight as Chairman Mao made bad policies in a day. Hmm? The expression on his face reads, Wow, this certainly is an unexpected turn of events. I don't know what you're talking about. That scam bot was your doing, wasn't it? That scam bot. No idea what you're talking about. A shame then, I was planning to thank the person who created that scam bot for giving me such beautiful material for my next article. Still not me. Oh, drop that. I saw you reading that email log yesterday on your computer while cl chuckling to yourself like an idiot. For you to come here today, accidentally bump into me, and then put up the nice boy act, you sure have guts. Alright, I admit it, you were struck by one of my favorite chatbots. Email scam bot. Come on, it was just a joke. I never intended to scam anyone, even the most inconceivable moron would not fall for that ID image. I was surprised anyone even responded at all. Yeah, the Nigerian Football Federation thing and the portrait of the right Imagay were probably the last straw. The communism was a nice touch, though. <laughs> Seeing you in such high spirits, I suppose the article must have done better than you thought. No pudding, Sherlock. I'm elated. <laughs> I'm so glad I checked his logs a few days ago and saw your silly conversation with it or I wouldn't have gotten a good laugh. You didn't really fall for it, did you? Uh, I think I get how lowly you regard me now. But anyway, I thought you were a really bad scammer at first. So I wanted to try scam baiting. It was pretty clear halfway that it was just an automated mailbot created by a troll with too much time on his hands, though. That was unimpressive. Then I found out the troll in question was my senior at my school because he was being too stupid to make sure nobody can see his laptop screen while reading email logs. Oops. That was seriously unimpressive. Aw, oh, come on, give me some credit. You should be thankful my prince bot gave you inspiration for your next article. Then I wrote an article and it was impressive. Yay. Oi. <laughs> I'd feature you in the credits, but then you'd probably get arrested for attempted scamming, regardless of whether or not you actually intended to. You didn't have any intention of tricking anyone in the beginning, but you did try and take advantage of the opportunity when you got it. You actually checked that fake bank account number I gave you, right? Fine, I did. But even if there was money in it, I wouldn't have taken it. I swear. Seriously, Aldrich? Ha ha ha, my name is Rich Hesley. No. Aw. 
Anyway, seriously, all just listen to me. I know it's a joke. You know it's a joke. It's as funny as Stalin's mustache on a pike. But I know you don't plan on it being just a joke. This time it's just a test run, right? Just to see if you can make a proper mailbot. And you aren't planning to stop at just that, are you? Rich laughs. Ho ho ho. I really don't know what to say. You're jumping to the strangest conclusions. Well... Rich sighs audibly, beaming. <sighs> Why, this was a very strange meeting. I seriously was surprised when I realized you were the writer for Mac. I wasn't really trying to hide it. But you're not at the age where you're legally allowed to work. This is hardly work. Do you have a reason to pick up such an odd job? Money? Popularity? I'll leave that to yourself to decide. But what makes you think I have any idea myself? Well, unlike you, I have great plans for my life. I'm planning to release a princess bot this month. Her story would be that she got caught in a terrible political situation and now has the, to escape the country and requires some money to do so. She's also a famous YouTube idol who sang the viral video, Never Gonna Throw You Up, and writer for the famous online novel, Leon's Destiny. Sounds romantic, doesn't it? Sure, sure. You must really be bored with your life. You really think so? That's a story for another day, then. I'll be listening. To be continued? So, that was the epilogue. That was way longer than I thought it would be. That's all, and thank you for watching.